what's going on guys we're gonna keep with the micro lure trend and today we're gonna to use the Yozuri snap bean it is a micro crankbait uh, one inch long I believe maybe an inch and a quarter I'm not sure but it is 1 16th of an ounce now I used this lure a couple weeks ago in one of my videos and I put it head to head against the knockoff version of this lure so this one is a little pricey it's about uh, four dollars maybe a little bit more depending on where you get it from and then there's these other lures that really look almost identical that are 99 cents or so. And in that video, the Yozuri lost the 99 cent lure one. Uh, however, I already had this lure anyway. It is a pretty cool lure and it did work that day, just not as well as the knockoff lure. So I wanna give it another chance. And now let's see what we can get on the Yozuri snapping. is a little windy today not sure how that's gonna affect it anytime it's windy it makes it a lot harder when you're using a small lure like this because you have a lot less control over where it goes so so far this lure has the same action as I remember which I guess should be expected nice tight little wobble I uh, got some really really small fish going after it like some two three inch bluegills and mine cichlids but nothing of any size yet There we go, Ooh, that was a hit. First one of the day two. There we go, fish on. Looks like a bluegill? I think so, a little female. Yeah, uh, maybe a male, but pale in color. All right, took a while, but we got our first fish of the day. Uh, beautiful bluegill, I don't know, eight inches or so, nice size on this one. Uh, pale in color, out of here, they're usually a lot darker, a lot more purple, a lot more vibrant in colors, but nice fish nonetheless. We go another oh lost it lost it lost it lost it that was a super light tab I don't even know what that was I think I had it hooked for a second though oh there we go that one's a nicer one I used to hit hard another bluegill not that big not that big you just hit hard All right, so much different color pattern on this bluegill than the last one. And actually comparing this one to all the other ones I've caught here in this lake and in South Florida, this one looks a lot different. So this one might be a female. He looks more, or she looks more like a, uh, it's definitely a she, but she looks more like the northern strain, not necessarily the copper nose strain. But either way, nice looking fish, and let's get her back. A fish yeah swam right into this algae pile another bluegill this is a nice size one All right, so no exaggeration this might be my PB bluegill uh, beautiful fish nice male you can tell if they're males or females by the size of that dot on their their ear really their uh, upper lick of their flap this one's nice and big the females are a lot smaller but this is a really nice size bluegill he engulf that uh, snap beam but beautiful fish and let's get this guy back. All right, so that was a really nice fish. Might have been my PB bluegill. Uh, the Yozuri snapping is paying off. We had a slow start here, but uh, the last 10 minutes or so, I got five, six hits, and I caught three pretty good-sized bluegill, especially that last one. Uh, let's keep making our way around here, and let's see what else we can get into.
There we go. Nope, there we don't go. Oh, that was another hit. I'm getting a lot of hits, I just don't know why I can't hook up with them. There we go, fish on. This is a nicer one. At least it feels like it so far. If I had a guess, it's gonna be a mine cichlid. Yeah, it is. These guys can pull pretty well. Still making a couple nice runs. Let's tire them out a little bit. Come on in here, dude. We got our first cycle of the day. It's not a big one, but it put up a really, really nice fight. Now, a lot of people say pound for pound bluegill and other sunfish fight well. Nothing beats mine cichlid in my, in my opinion. These guys, for their size, they put up a really nice fight. Pull a lot of drag, and they're re really fun to catch, even though I'm not a big fan of these fish just kind of because they're non-native. I'd rather catch the native bluegills, but still a whole lot of fun. Was a nice one too. I was not ready to set the hook that time. So today I've caught a good amount of fish, I think four so far, which isn't too bad, and some nice sized ones too, but I have lost so many hookups that it's ridiculous. Here we go. A nice fish. Probably a mine. What is that? Is that a bluegill? That's a that's a good bluegill. All right, this guy pulled pretty well. He's not even that big, but nice pull by this one. All right, another beautiful jumbo male bluegill. Nice colors. This guy put up the best fight of the day, at least out of the bluegill. He, he pulled really well. I really thought it was a mayan, but nice fish. Let's get this guy back. And let's keep going. There we go, fish on. This is gonna be a nice one. Looked like a Mayan. Oh, did he, he broke me off. My drag was set pretty loose too and he broke me off. That's not good. All right, so the day was going pretty well, but unfortunately right there at the end, my knot just gave and I lost the only snapping that I had. So this is gonna be it for the day. Uh, ended up being pretty good. I was happy up until the end here. Got five fish, I think. Four bluegills, one Mayan. This would have been probably the biggest fish of the day. I got a glimpse of it, it was, an, it was a nice size Mayan. But unfortunately my knot gave and lost the snapping. Um, so second time using the snap bean, first time was in that video that I mentioned earlier where I kind of compared the $4 snap bean with the $89.99 cent uh, knockoff version of the snap bean. And in that video, the knockoff version did a whole lot better. Uh, today, I think the snap bean kind of re redeemed itself. It got the job done, uh, but if I was gonna have to do this again, I would probably not buy the snap bean. It's a nice lure, it works, as you've seen. I think I got my PB bluegill uh, on it, but for $4, I don't think it does four times as good as the uh, the one dollar knockoffs but the, the PB bluegill I think was probably one of my better fish that I've caught this year I know some people are gonna laugh at that because it's a small fish but the way I look at it is you got to compare the size of the fish you caught to the size they reach right so some people catch 30 40 inch snook and those are big and of course they are but a 40 inch snook is gonna be equivalent to I don't know an 11 12 inch bluegill somewhere around there and 10 inch bluegill, that's a, that's a pretty nice size fish. So I'm happy with that. Hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.